All right, guys, I'm going to show you install on a um, log arch. We actually sell these. We keep them in stock. They're brand new from uh, Paint Valley Equipment. They're a uh, USA company over in Ohio. They build everything pretty much in-house, but it's all American-made stuff. And this is actually a customer's machine. It's a 650J. It's got the Deer 4000 series winch. We... Uh, Sold this to the customer and wanted to put it on for him. But this um, had the roller fair leads on the back here and they were all tore up. And we had to end up actually torching most of that off. This upper pin gets bent on those. But anyway, these log archers utilize this top mount on these 4000 series winches. And then they have a set of um, arms that come down um, that go to each side. And we've got this all prepped and everything. We're actually going to weld these on here they go on sort of like that and we'll weld those on there i guess you could bolt those they um they offer the same mount i think they use on uh, the g series tractors that actually can bolt on the back of those uh, we feel like the weld's a little stronger it spans that out a little better and stuff so um, these come with two different length arms um, your shorter arm is going to be on the right side if you look at this winch it's kind of offset it's a little wider over here so the way this log arch sits on so your lo longer arm is going to be over on this side and your shorter arm is going to be over here and these brackets they're kind of offset too um they go up like this it's kind of the holes the holes down there but what we'll do we'll get everything clamped up and fitted and tacked up make sure everything works we're looking for about a 25 degree angle on these um we're sitting there about 65 off 90 so but that's about their ideal it's where everything fits right and everything so i think this model number is the um that's yeah, a pv 4401 fits your uh, 550h and j's and 650h and j's um they use the same basic head for all their models um whether it's a 700 down to a 450 and we do keep all all the log arches in stock so if you need one we can sell one carry out or we can install it for you and a lot of customers come in and they want to know how much it costs to put one of these on and there's a couple different variables involved you know like this one come in with the roller fair lead on the back it was all trashed and tore up and bent and we had to end up torching it off so you get some extra labor in there and this tractor's actually got the uh, extra forestry guards on the side and they come over this area here where we need to weld at so we had to unbolt those kind of got them laying out of the way um like you get a little extra work and stuff in there but it's just hard to guesstimate till uh, these tractors get in here and see how much work they're going to take but we're going to uh, go ahead and get these brackets fitted up and uh, tacked on and welded up All right, we got the brackets all, we clamped them on, got all the arms fitted. We got her sitting about 25 degrees or so. So we got her tacked up on both sides. So the next thing we'll do, we'll actually pull these pins off, we'll pull these arms off, get everything out of our way and get those welded on real good and burn in. We'll probably touch them up, we'll touch up paint and then we'll put everything together.
I've got the brackets all welded on um, both sides. We're going to um, put a little spray paint on there if Skylar shakes up the John Deere yellow spray paint. We're going to get those all touched up and uh, we'll do a video here after we get done of uh, all together and everything. Another big thing you want to do, especially welding on anything, is just common sense. Is make sure you shut your disconnect off. You don't want any of that um, juice back feeding and messing up your transmission controller or any of that other stuff. We'll get this all uh, painted, put back together, and we'll be back. Got them uh, mounts all painted up. We're getting ready to throw the arms on here. They all use um, washers and snap rings is what they like to use. Um, we've had pretty good luck out of those. We'll set you guys up here and let you watch while we try to get these all lined up and on here. Yeah. Right, let's put this other side on. Get the pin. Washer on it. Yeah, another washer. Getting the washers, aren't you? Snap ring. Let's grab a grease gun. We need to grease. Grease these. These things take a lot of grease when they're new. They fill up this thimble, I believe they call it. But there's um. Big main grease fitting there for that. We got some up here for these rollers. Um, they take a bunch of grease when they're new. We got a big cavity in there to fill up. But Tyler's going to go ahead and grease those up. And uh, I think we're about done here. We got to do a couple of other things on this tractor, but. Um, say we have all these log arches in stock um, for every model from the G series 450 to 650 and uh, these are down for the track loaders and we've got them for the um, 450s all the way up to the 700s John Deere machines in stock 
We actually have brand new factory deer winches in stock, 4000 series. So if you guys are looking for them, hit us up. We've got mounts um, to fit everything from 2000 to current models, whether it's a 450, 550, 650, or the 700 models. Unfortunately, we can't get the uh, new winches for the G series anymore. They're discontinued, so the only thing after is used. We do, from time to time, get one of those. So um, hit us up, shoot us an email. We'll put a link in the description below. Um, you can always give us a shot too. But um, yeah, I think that's about it on this. Like I say, we've got these dudes in stock. You're going to have a hard time finding winches in stock at any John Deere dealer anywhere. But we do keep them in stock just to um, keep our local loggers happy and everything. So, if you guys want to see more videos, let us know in the descriptions. Um, we've got a video on a winch. We've tore apart, resealed it, and put a new pump and stuff in it. We do a lot of the forestry stuff, so we're going to grease them a couple fittings up top. And this one will be ready to go.